morning, Kevin, and today I will be installing a Panoptix Y-Store in my 06 Ranger Z20. And what I have here is the Panoptix module. And I had two ideas on how I wanted to install this. My first idea was to uh, take this panel off, mount this down in the bowel, somewhere inside there, and I've taken this off and I looked in there before. There's really not any place to screw this on or screw this module in place down below here. And there's a lot of foam back in here. And I don't want to be drilling holes in my fiberglass. I was thinking maybe going up onto this plate, this platform underneath. But I really don't want to do that. Um, it's not thick enough. And I don't want holes sticking out of that. That would look hideous. But uh, my second idea was to install it somewhere in this compartment. So when I opened up the box, I saw that I had a two meter ethernet cable. So I will be mounting this module in this compartment right below this area. So it'll be sitting about right in there. There's some spots I can screw this onto, mount it up in there on the side like that. So that's the way I'm going to install it. And I think it's gonna work out great. So I'm gonna fast forward this video. It's gonna be me moving around really quick. And, uh, and then I'll slow it down and I'll kind of bring in the video, just showing you how everything mounts and how everything's sitting. Turn it on and uh, see if everything's working good. Make sure I have everything connected right. And uh, we'll go from there. So stick with me, let's go. And then if you look in here, like I was going to show you guys, you can see right down in here, there's that little, it's a plastic tube insert that goes all the way to my compartment for where you can hold the tips of your rods. I uh, uh, took a hole saw and drilled a hole in there about inch and a half, a little bit over, uh, I'd say inch and three quarter because of the... <clears throat> The transducer's connector was pretty big, so I had to run everything through there. And I don't use this locker for rods or anything. I just make it for storage for other items. But I connected everything down in this um, power bank. So I'll have to put everything back together now.
this is what I have. The Garmin Lifestyle uh, installation with the module. And uh, I'm going to show you how I did it really quick. I'm just going to run through it and uh, give you some ideas. Anybody that owns a 2006 Ranger Z20 or a 520, any of that kind of series like this design bolt, uh, give you an idea on, I think it's probably going to be the easiest way to install the module. Um, there is a lot of foam packed up on the gun all there up underneath. There's foam up there. The tube actually came all the way over to here by the console. There's another little tube for all the LED lights I have installed inside, but that probably about an inch diameter. And the connector for the transducer to the module, that little connector, will not fit in there, so I cannot come through that tube. I tried. So uh, I, I could have ran everything over here, but like I said, I only had a two long meter net uh, network cable. And then you can actually install your module and everything right down in here. It's going to be a little iffy though, running the transducer cable line all the way to here. I mean, it can be done. It, it will reach, but you're going to have you're not you don't have a lot of room to play with. So um, I think the best I think. If you don't want to spend extra money for a network cable, I think the best way, the best solution is to install it directly under here, right here. Um, I do have uh, a pocket, a plastic pocket sleeve in there. It's a big square. Try to pull it out, think maybe I can move some of the foam back in here. I didn't want to tear up the foam and wreck my, rip up my bolt. Uh, I did notice that that tip of that plastic piece did show up at the front of the bottle there. Just a little bit about like that. So I took a one, one and a half um, hole saw and I drilled that plastic out and I actually ran the cords all the way in that tube. I don't put rods in here much. I mean, I have with just my spinning rods and they're usually seven foot. I mean, you could still put your rods in there with the cords there. If you want, you could probably dress it up, which I might do. I might buy me a, a, a two inch uh, PVC pipe, black one, and then slide it in there somewhere and then mount it. So then I can run the cables through it that way. If I do put rods in there, I'm not getting tangled up in the, the cords. But if you have rod, uh, rod uh, socks, you should be fine in the tube. But uh, yeah, all the cords are off to the side, running through that tube, and it was a lot easier doing it that way. So I'm gonna show you really quick, and I'll grab the camera here, and we'll just, I'll just show you. I already put the panel on, you really can't see it, but I'll just kinda, give you an idea so here we go so to start off like i said up straight up under here there's that little the part of that tube comes up comes up all the way to there a little square there and i took the hole saw drilled that out so i can run the cords from in there and i have a power block there that operates all this so i run it into that so all my power like my unit here and the module is all connected down in there. There's another little uh, little side ground that goes to the module, which I connected to that too. Um, I, right now I got it in forward position. Right here is forward. And if I want down, I just click it one. Now she's down position. This part right here is straight down. So I got her about roughly about seven inches up, seven, eight inches. Don't get it too low. You want to keep it up as high as possible. I'd like to put it right here. But I think this is the best spot right here. You got to watch where the cable goes on the guides here for the shaft. So you're not hitting this. So I left enough room, ran everything. I moved the strap back down there, ran it all the way up along with the other um, sonar cable for the uh, Lawrence. And then I cut that slit down in here so I can put the cables in there. So everything is down in the bow compartment and then the cords and everything run down in here up under there there's that little tube it's coming straight back straight back to here and i'll get down there and show you how i did it see the cords coming out of it right there's where i drilled the hole like i said i might put a, a two inch pvc pipe here mount it off to the corner here and then go all the way up to that hole with the PVC pipe, measure what I need and cut. And then I'll just put some um, straps here and I'll screw it into here somewhere. 
I won't be able to get way up in there, just enough to get it tight up in there and put a couple straps right down here in the back with the tube. So I'll dress this up a lot nicer so these cords aren't all over the place. Here's that little single um, ground wire that connects right there. So I got that in the fuse block in there, the little block, wire block. So yeah, I'll have to dress this all up pretty nice. But that's where the module sits, right there. Oh, got to clean up my mess. I'll leave it there. I got dryer sheets and I just took it out of storage. Bounce, baby, bounce. Okay, so uh, after showing you all that stuff on that insulation, hopefully this is going to be beneficial for any of you that have the same style boat. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. I'm going to be running that 93SV Echomat there. Uh, the transducer set up on the forward position right now. I mean, when I had it on earlier, I picked up the whole door. I mean, you can see every detail of that door. That's how crazy that pan optics light scope is. It's, it's just cool. It's phenomenal. It's like, I saw a window. I saw people walking down there in the road. I'm just kidding. But anyways, I got everything set up where I need it. Uh, I'm going to have to get it out in the water and calibrate it and uh, get it fine-tuned until then. Um, I can't wait to try it out. It's a new thing to me. Um, it's first time using Garmin. I could possibly end up switching to Garmin, but I like my Lawrence units too because I do plan on buying a Live, uh, HDS Live. I want to give that a try. It, run that on the console, maybe a little one of the bow there. And so that will conclude uh, the installation thing. So like I said, comment below. I'm getting trying to get better at these videos. I'm trying my best to help you out. But uh, uh, until next time, keep on fishing. And don't watch my videos waste your time. <laughs>